If you like this video, why not subscribe? Okay, today I'm going to talk about this uh, generic uh, shotgun mic shock mount that I found on eBay for $10, which I thought was a pretty good price. And the reason that I uh, bought this was because I was looking to upgrade my shock mount to work on my Frugal Stabilizer 2 because I was having trouble ad adapting my old PVC shock mount. And before, when I built this, uh, the nearest uh, retail shock mounts were about 30 bucks. And when I saw this one for 10, I decided to go for it and buy it and see how well it compared. And actually I've been uh, pretty impressed, not too bad for $10. And considering that this one only costs probably two, three to $4 and about an hour of your time to make, hour, hour and a half, they're probably about worth about the same because that much time you spend on this would probably surpass just going ahead and buying one of these. Uh, this is actually fairly decently constructed. It's small, uh, but as I found, soon found out, that doesn't really matter. Uh, it has a 5 8 inch thread on the bottom, which will fit on a standard uh, boom pole. I've since adapted mine. I've got two adapters in here, a 5 8 inch to 3 8 inch adapter, and then a 3 8 inch adapter to quarter inch, so that I can put this, uh, this uh, shoe mount in the bottom, because I wanted to be able to mount it onto the shoe mounts on my rig, which is what I can do now. Um, this, I like this, uh, it has this feature, which is nice, which you can now tilt your shock mount, something I couldn't do before without the adapter uh, that I previously made. If you would like to mount this on a boom pole, all you really need is a 5 8 inch to 3 8 inch adapter. Um, and then this uh, adapter that I built, which will go to a painter's pole. Actually, if you want to use this on a boom pole, you don't need any of these adapters because it's got the standard 5 8 inch thread. But if you want to attach it to a painter's pole, it's really easy. You can just build this adapter, which is, uh, if you don't remember, it's a paint roller with a 3 8 inch thread on top. Paint roller handle with a 3 8 inch thread on top, which will then fit into one of the adapters in here if you go that route. I'm actually looking to mount uh, one of those uh, shoe mounts on top of this so I can move this in between my frugal stabilizer rig and... Uh, my painter's pole, boom pole, uh, rather easily. That's the plan there. Um, so anyway, so I have this uh, rig and the big concern was, or the shock mount, the big concern was, are these bands gonna hold the weight of my mic because it's a really narrow space compared to my old one? Um, and if your microphone is made out of any kind of a metal like mine is, um, one thing I was worried about was, the, is the weight of the mic going to pull down on the bands enough to where it, uh, rests on the housing if it bends down and it does that when you're trying to record sound of course everything all the pull noise is going to go right through the shock mount and right to the microphone so that's why you have the bands there is to insulate the microphone from pull noise and it does uh, hold it as you can see there it does hold it in space so that it does not strike the uh, the housing here which is good doesn't rest on the housing and even when you add a windscreen such as this one the weight of this is so light it will not pull it down to the housing. However, when I did put this uh, windscreen on, this is my or dead cat, this is my uh, LightWave Audio, one that I've been using for a while. Uh, the weight of this is pretty significant. Um, when I would put it on, uh, as you can't really see from the angle of the camera, but it does weigh it down quite a bit. And uh, it doesn't quite touch the housing, but it almost does. So if there's any kind of movement or quick movement, there's a chance the microphone might strike the housing with this. So that's really the only negative I can see on this shock mount. I might have to find an alternative uh, dead cat windscreen to use on this. And I've already got a couple ideas. People have already published a lot of great things on the web that I can use. Um, but for $10, uh, this is uh, pretty good, I think. I like it. It looks a lot more professional uh, than my other version. And the cost is about the same if you uh, f factor in time. However, if you're going to do all these mods here, uh, that I've done to get this shoe adapter on it so it'll fit again on my frugal stabilizer rig right here, um, which it does rather easily. Now I can have this attached to my rig, but if you're going to do those mods um, or get those two adapters, actually there's three adapters on here, the 5 8 inch to 3 8 inch, ad 3 8 inch adapter and then a 3 8 inch to a quarter inch adapter, so the shoe adapter will fit on you're going to be spending probably $8 to do that. So that would bring this up to $18. Um, so that's something to definitely consider. But since I had all those adapters already, it didn't cost me anything. Um, and I think I'm pretty happy and I'm probably going to be replacing this shock mount 
with this one from now on. I just need to find a way to get uh, these shoe mounts on top of this adapter so that I can use it on my boom pole. So there you go. I do recommend this generic shock mount. It's $10 on eBay and I will leave all the pertinent links below.